please welcome the sensational, the exquisite Emily Blunt. <laughs> It was just a sniffy inhale, oh, which is real but it is. fear. That is. Ooh. We're so happy to see you here in the flesh. Look at you. How do you feel being out it's in a really room It's really strange. With people, I know. I know. It's completely bizarre. I don't know how to walk in these shoes. <laughs> I almost fell. Did you see? I, I think I covered it. It was a bit I of a did not notice it fall. A little bit wobbly. Why, are, why, why stick with the shoes? Why stick with the shoes? Why stick with the shoes? Post-COVID, post I think all should women just should just go... Off? I would. I'd just be like, I'm going pumps. Wouldn't it? Just flats. Well, I, mean, I do, but I think there's something about having been trapped indoors in sweatpants for so long that you've sort of got this rebellious flair of, like, I would like to get dressed up. You want to zhuzh it And also bit. not to be interrogated by my children if I leave the house. You know, it's that oh, kind is of that, thing. Is that happening in your house? It's happen to you as Oh, well. every time. Yeah. If, if Jules is doing her hair, <laughs> Carrie will come around the corner and go, well, what are you, why are you doing your hair? <laughs> And she'll go, well, I'm going, well, why are you going? Why would you leave the house? Like and a it's... jealous boyfriend. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, they're it's... like the fun police, my children. They really are. Why? Why would you go out? Why would yeah, you leave us? Yeah, why would you leave us? And you're like, we, we're sitting in someone's <laughs> garden. Give us a break. <laughs> now, last time you were here in this studio Dude, was so March weird. 11th, which was the day before yes. everything shut down. Yes. It was very weird. It was very strange. Do you remember the chat we had <laughs> up in your dressing room before the show started? Because I was promoting the film the day before seeing you. Yes. The movie was coming out. Two hours before I came to your show, the movie was being pulled from the theatres. So you walked into my dressing room and you said, hello, is your movie coming out? And I went, no, but I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> and, uh, and we... It hadn't been announced, but you knew it wasn't. And yeah. it was such a crazy time. And if you ever needed evidence that Emily Blunt is one of the finest actors of our time. <laughs> Take a look at her here, setting no! up the plot of A Quiet Place 2, having no, no. known two hours earlier the movie wasn't coming out. <laughs> Emily, we have to congratulate you on A Quiet Place Part 2. Thank you. Oh, people are so excited for this film. So we love the first one. Tell us what it's about and who you play. So I play Evelyn. Same character from the first one. Yeah. It'd be funny if I wasn't, though. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, she now, the movie continues on where the first one ended, so she's now a single mother, three children, Pitching. one of whom is a newborn baby. House is burnt down. Where does she go? Who does she trust? And it just... The world ventures out, the action sequences, and the... It's madness. <laughs> Hand me an award. It's... <laughs> It's, I love this move. It's <laughs> madness. It's and madness. And none of you are going to see it. <laughs> but wait, I've even got the same hairdo as today. Well, oh, it's man. still your hair. Yeah. Different. It's still... Different. Is it, though? Or is, is it? it? Is it? Look at that. I mean, looking at that clip, like, there was so much buzz around the film that week. The Dude. reviews, like, the Rotten Tomato score is through the roof. Everybody was saying, yeah. we didn't think this was possible. It's better than the first one. I can't begin to imagine what it felt like for you and for John, knowing that the release had been postponed. What was that time like? It was it was quite hard, I have to say. It I'm was sure. it was sad. It was just surreal. I mean, a lot of people had things cancelled in their lives that were far more important than a film coming out, but it was just completely surreal because we had been building, galvanizing towards this release, and people seemed so excited about it and it was just, it was, it was suddenly just like slipped through your fingers and you were like, oh, you know, yeah. it's so strange. How many times over the past 12 months have people gone, we think we're going to release it in <laughs> such and such? And then you go, oh, OK. I think we've had four different release dates. Right. And, uh, and actually what happened was initially it was going to come out in September, but John always wanted it to be one of the first movies back. He always saw this as a really positive theatrical experience and one that could actually rejuvenate the theatrical event for yes. people again. So... He always pushed the studio to bring it out earlier, and they were super supportive. So we bumped it up. Well, you certainly did, and it's been quite a year since then, but you have to say one of the stars of lockdown is your brother-in-law. I know. Stanley Tucci, who has had... <laughs> who's like who's a had a better symbol. COVID? Who's had I a better know. COVID? 
He's been on the show twice. He's taught me how to make cocktails. I can't believe Stanley's become a sex symbol, though. I, oh, I, I can. It's so mad. Oh, but look at the man. No, he's I mean, has anyone ever doesn't looked age. better on Zoom? Doesn't age. Ageless. Ageless. And beautiful Italian skin just doesn't age. Have you ever seen him in, like, sweatpants? Never. And by the way, haven't. I've never seen him in socks. <laughs> and I'm at his house almost All every day. Do you know what I was wondering if we should come up with? I don't think his fan base, his ardent fan base, have a name yet. Oh, that's a good idea. I was wondering what we should idea. call them, and I, I thought you'd be a good person to ask. What should we call Ian? What do you think? What should we call the Stanley Tucci fan base? The Tucci... the Tucci Hoochies. You heard Tucci it here. Tucci Hoochies is really good. I really want to get this right. I know, we've got to get it right, because I want to kind of name it, and then it's out there. But it's got to be classy. Yeah, I know. That's the issue. What about the, the Tucci Crucci? That sounds like... Tucci Crucci sounds that like a sounds vagina. like that a does, vagina. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Tucci only coochies. issue with that is it sounds like a vagina. You think that's a bug, I think it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, Emily, this is the... Did you know this is the 15th year, the 15th anniversary of The Devil Wears Prada? I did know that. Which really was the movie which I, I feel like changed your entire... Changed everything. ..life. And the film, I don't know if you watched it recently, absolutely holds up. What was the audition process like getting that huge movie? It's funny because I don't... Uh... I remember being in L.A. for pilot season or something terrifying like that, and I went and met with Fox Studios, and I was reading for this other project, and just they randomly said, oh, you know, you want to read for it? We got this Devil Wears Prada movie. You want to read for this movie? I was like, yeah, sure. But I was rushing for the airport, and I remember just being kind of flustered. So I read it, but I, I was wearing, like, sweatpants. I mean, I did not look the part at all. And then I remember being in a dingy London nightclub, and I got a call from the director, and he was like, we need you to do it again, but can you, <laughs> like, not wear sweatpants? Oh, really? Does <laughs> the studio need to see you look more stylish type of thing, like, more like the character? And I just remember him just, like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I was getting a call from this guy. I never thought in a million years I'd get it, so I auditioned again, and then he called me, and I got it. And it all happened within, like, a week. It was mad. And I remember that first table read with Meryl and we were just <laughs> we were so scared you know and she and she was wonderful and came in and it was the most surprising take on the part you know because it was so quiet yes nothing and everyone was like this oh my god you know it was just so cool well so cool and look at you now glamorous so much more famous than Meryl so much more <laughs> famous than Meryl <laughs> Streep and more glamorous, let's be honest. No, not Stick true. Stick around more with Emily Blum when we come back, everyone.